One of the best things about motorhomes is that you can find yourself in almost any part of the country. And today, we're lucky enough to be here at SMC in Newark to have a look at this beauty, the Frankia i740 Plus exclusive. Let's take a look inside. Everyone knows there's nothing us Brits like better than a good rear lounge. And that's not just because we're such a magnificently sociable lot. On a really rainy day, you can still sit here and admire the view from all three sides. And if you really want to, you can sit and watch the TV, which is behind my cameraman right over there, or at least it would be if you'd chosen it as an option. But because this is a Frank here, this is much more than your standard rear lounge. To start with, there's a huge variety of upholstery options. I'm quite partial to this grey denim colour, but I've also seen Frankie vans with white, pink and acid yellow cushions scattered around. But also, you can have a pedestal table or a fold-away table fitted here, and if you really want to, you could even have this turned into a double bed, although it will explain later why you might not want to. Let's have a look elsewhere. The other kind of flexibility this van offers is in the layout, because once you've swiveled these compressing cab seats around, there's another seating area here that we could easily do for adults, you can have a cup of coffee here, or perhaps even if you need to work to raise money, because obviously you do need to raise money to buy a van this expensive, there's a space here where you could easily put a laptop. There's even a light to help you see what you're doing. There's lots of tricks in this locker above the door, and one of them is this switch here. Press it down, and the bed starts coming down at the front. The bed on its own makes quite a cosy double bed, and if you want something a bit bigger, all you have to do is just pull up the slats, put the infill cushion in, the same on the other side, and then you have two singles, which are slightly longer. Also, you may have thought the chest under here was actually a chest. It's not. It's actually rather an ingenious set of steps to get you up to the bed in the first place. In between the bedroom area and the lounge, there's a luxurious washroom and separate shower cabinet, plus a door which you can close to create a cosy little ensuite for just the two of you. And if even that's not good enough, there's also a partition here which you can close to cut yourself off for complete privacy. The kitchen is well equipped with a three burner hob, a sink whose cover cleverly doubles up as an extra shelf here, bags of storage in all shapes and sizes, a large fridge and freezer, and an oven. Unfortunately, this is rather high for most people except the likes of me. Now comes the scary part. How much is this van actually worth? Well, it's not far short of 90,000 pounds. Yes, that's a phenomenal amount of money. My producer says it's actually more than what he paid for his first flat in London. But you've got to think about the quality of the build you get in here and the bespoke nature of what you can order. Plus the exciting extra things that Frankia include in their vans which you won't really find anywhere else. One is a boot locker right by the front door there. And the other thing is the service access hatch they have on the side of the van, which allows you to unwind your mains hookup and deal with your fresh and wastewater connections in a relatively convenient and easy way without having huge amounts of cable and hose trailing across the ground. Frank here was actually the first manufacturer to come up with such an idea, and it's been ruthlessly copied since. So I guess before you decide whether you can afford this van, you need to think what kind of holiday you're after. Some people obviously like to be in a camper van that feels like a camper van or a motorhome. They like the, the smell of it and the feel of it. But if that's not you, if you'd rather spend your two weeks in the sun and forget about the horrible ride you had down to get there, then this motorhome is pretty much ideal, because with the front bed down, it's quite easy to forget you're even in a motorhome. home.